Yeah, we good. We good. We good. So they see both of us, but when I when I upload it, you'll be able to see see both of us up here. Mickey, what's right. the word? What's good? What's good? I, I I downloaded the app, the whereby app. So oh, okay, okay, okay. That's how I made this happen. What's good? Ain't shit chilling, chilling, man. You know, you asked me this about three years ago. I would never think I'd be doing an interview. <laughs> <laughs> how you been, B? Nah, I'm chilling, man. I'm good. I'm good. Um, yeah, let's just let's start right there, cause I feel like for me anyway. I mean, cause that that's my profession, being a battle rapper. I think that battle with you, like. I'm not even talking about winning or losing. Just being in that position, having to do that battle, I think that got me. That was something I needed to get to where I'm at now. I don't I don't know in terms of you because I know it was more so of a you just coming back and doing it because you do the music mostly. But for me, I feel like that was that was a battle I needed in my career. Uh, man, I think um, I think at the time, like you were leveling up, you were leveling up, and I saw the level up. And you know, I think every every January every January first, he was like, "Yo, set it up, set it up, set it up, set it up." And I just was like, eh, I, don't, I I just didn't feel like it was time, right? Like I just yeah. didn't feel like it was time. And then I think I told you, I think I, I think I think it was I think it was New Year's Eve maybe, and you had said it again, and and I had just finished. I think it was like the, the following the week before. I had just saw you in uh, Canon. Yeah, and I was like, I, I said, okay, now that because I always, for me, it was always like I want to be, when I step into, when I step back, it's always like I want to be afraid of who I'm going up against. And before I wasn't, but when I saw that cannon thing, I even textured that I was like, yeah, that was scary. And I know now he's gonna level up, but to make sure that he levels up, I have to piss him off, and yeah. that's what that's what I did. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, nah, that's a fact. I was telling people on here what they ain't know is through that process. When I ain't show up to um to champion with Jay Black, I couldn't let you know because I, you know, I ain't know what was gonna be set in the battle. But that's when when my girl was pregnant and she almost had a miscarriage, uh, and right. my grandma um she had fell, mm. and, and I'm um and she like fractured her hip and a couple toes. So I'm like, I can't. That's why I was so quiet. It was a good thing because I needed to stay motivated, but. At the right. same time, I'm like, yo, one, there's no way I'm getting out of this battle. I got all this shit going on now. My girl's pregnant. She's about to have a miscarriage. My grandma's in the hospital. And this ain't mm -hmm. one of them ones where I could be like, um, we got to reschedule. I'm going to look crazy. So that that, right. was go that was going on right there with the face off. So that's why I got low. And then I'm smart enough to know, like, well, if I get on camera and say anything other than, you know what I'm saying? It's nothing I could have said that wouldn't have looked like I was scared to do the face off. So I was like, let me just stay quiet. But then when right. we did that face off, and this be the crazy thing because we was both we was both going at each other in the face off. But I was to see how hyped you was. I was still nervous. I I don't think I stopped being nervous till the battle was over. Wow, yeah. I mean, <laughs> it was uh, you know, to me that one that one was more like anxiety leading up, right? Yeah, like yeah, it was... yeah, yeah, yeah. That yeah, that that that's that. That's the right word I would use, like anxiety. So while I'm in the battle, even during the rounds, I'm like, because of course I had people in there cheering for me, but I'm still like, I don't know. Like it was weird because until the battle was over, that's when I felt like I I did what I was supposed to do. But even in it, I'm like, let me let me not let me not get too happy because this you just never right. know. Yeah, right. Exactly. And, and I, for me, like it was, you know, I had a I had a game plan going into it. And Verb kind of was like, yo, like right, like right before I got on stage, he kind of, I wouldn't say he threw me over, but it was more so like, yo, don't react to nothing. Keep your head down. Don't say nothing. And I was like, all right. Right. Like I just yeah. kind of went into it like that. So, and for me, you know, I didn't really, I didn't really hear kind of like there were certain things that I heard, but I kind of just tuned everything out like i tuned everything out there were instances where i heard certain shit and i was like damn that's fire like um the arm comeback joint yeah the, uh the credit score joint um there was a there was another oh the mc, i always loved that mcflurry bar that mcflurry bar is insanity to me i thought that was fire yeah, um and there was a there was like there was a couple other things but i was more so tr trying not to react because i knew any any sudden movement 
would have set off a, a rebuttal. So yeah. I was like, I was like, let me just kind of, let me just kind of be like sullen almost, right? Like sullen. So that's that was my kind of game plan after Verb told me that. Yeah, for me, I I wasn't trying. Like when I battled you, when I battled Verb and Lou, for because those was in oh and and uh in Danger Zone in those rooms, I really wasn't trying to freestyle because I'm mm-hmm. like I think people are saying that's my my crutch. And mm-hmm. I'm like, I don't really want to use that because I don't want that to be the excuse. I want to show niggas that I can um that I can rap. It was it was your first with the James Brown line and the and the um and the um Eric Eric B joint pump up the volume. That was that those those lines was crazy. And I like how you flipped the the gambling angle. That was hard too. My that favorite, bar... yeah, my favorite line that I said was the non between us shit. Oh yeah, that that. Yeah. That was extremely to me. That was extremely creative, and that all that all hit me in the second. Like that, the second. Yeah, you know, the second was because I like for my second. Like I was, I didn't want to. I didn't want to get too crazy. Like personally, I just wanted to do certain things that people kind of didn't know, but still kind of knew. But it was yeah. like, you know. So I didn't like. I didn't. There were things that I did know that was happening, but I was like, nah, I'm not. I didn't want to go there with it. So I was like, let me just kind of. Let me kind of paint this type of picture in a second, but your second was uh, your second was incredible. I thought that was like that was that was tough to kind of sift through, right? And um, I felt like my second, like there was a lot of stuff in my second that I, it, it just was tough to kind of fight through in the room. Um, my my side, I feel like when you watch it, right, like my side is not really as enthusiastic as yours was, yeah, and. That kind of that kind of helped a little bit, you know what I'm saying? Like I, I admit that, like it was to me that was the best version of you. And then after that, like this this Lou joint that 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 was yeah. I was just about I was just about to say because when people ask me now, I personally like the Lou Castro material better, but I get mm-hmm. why people will still say it's you just because we had that like grudge match in terms of battle rap. But as far as writing, I like I like the Lou Castro shit the most. Yeah, I mean, it's fresh, right? Yeah. Like, I think it's 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 one of those joints where it's like, this was like, it's right on your mind, it's right there, and you kind of are in that pocket. But I felt like you kind of ascended in that joint, and to me, that's what I kind of that's what I always wanted to stand in front of. Because even like, even if if people watch that daylight situation, like I wasn't happy about that. Like I wasn't happy that. Um, it went down like that. Like if you watch any of my interviews after, I was kind of angry because I, I wanted it to be more of a, a fight. So it was like this one to me was like a fight, and you know it was it was definitely tough. It was definitely yeah. tough. And um, Sean afterwards he told me that you had like eight eight rounds. Yeah, yeah. I had I had I had diff- I wouldn't say eight full rounds, but I had places where I wanted to go because, like that's why I said the battle with you help i feel like it was needed for my career because like that like i i doubted myself in terms of writing long rounds mm-hmm. with eight with being able to be hitting quick in those rounds I, I my mind state before that was like yo well if it's a long round then it's it's gonna be a super breakdown and right. then i say that to say because with lou my third against lou is probably now i think my third versus you is still longer but my third with lou staying on one main subject is like almost six minutes and then I feel Crazy. like if I never, yeah, if I never did that battle with you, I wouldn't have learned because that's when I learned in the process of like, yo, I'm a, I'm gonna have to stay on this one topic, but figure out multiple ways to talk about it, and make it entertaining, and continue to punch. So I had like different ways I wanted to go, and then I'm like, nah, that's not gonna work. That's not gonna work. This is not gonna work. And mm. then, like terms of the week of the battle is when I started narrowing down. Like, I, right, I'm gonna use this. I'm gonna use this. And then my third. I'm in the battle with you, still taking shit out of my third. That that was the craziest <laughs> shit ever. That's like, fine. I'm still piecing shit out of my third. But yeah, with Lou, that was more so of I just feel like I I like like I said I like the Lou shit because I feel like now it's a test again because a lot of a lot of vets like niggas say they don't got pen. So that's what I really wanted to show in that battle. Like yo, I could level up in terms of the writing in this in this COVID era. So I feel like. I feel like I executed that well, especially with him being a rookie. And then, like, I think we still down with the rookies versus Reds. Yeah, I mean, I mean, a lot of people say, like, that's one of your better performances. And, you know, but they also say that he, you know, he came up 
crazy in that one as well. And I feel yeah. like he did, but it, it was still there was still like levels, you know, there was still a separation in terms of what you were doing and how you were doing it. You know, I think I don't think people give you enough credit for that, right? Like I think yeah. and for me, like it, and, and this is something that people don't know. Like for me, I think I I I had critiqued on it early on and I and, and I did it privately first, right? Yeah. Like I had yeah, did it privately fact. first. Like I jumped in the DM and I was like, yo, like I had just watched that Rex joint with you. You know what I'm saying? And I was like, yo, I love it. But I think, you know, you kind of need to be yourself. And it's, it's crazy that that's what you did against me and Lou. Like you were just kind of being yourself. Like there was certain things that, you know, obviously it's, it's battle rap. So some, some things are exaggerated, but there was, yeah. it was more showcasing you. And I always found that to be very interesting leading up into that. You know what I mean? Yeah. Nah, nah, nah. That's definitely a fact. You, uh, my homie, blessed by the beats. Yeah, like I remember, I, I was saying that on the show here of saying like, it's crazy that when when you see somebody giving you constructive criticism, it's hard to take it at the beginning. Cause in mm -hmm. that point in my career, I feel like, well, who are you to tell me? You know what I'm saying? What, what I need to be working on. So it was like I'm young. I took it offensively, but then that that I feel like that motivation and drive. Think think about how shit comes full circle. You said that to me like. 2011 we wanted yeah. to battle in 2018 and that's like the new level dna that it happened against right. you know what i'm saying the person that was saying that and then with lou it's like i just felt like i felt like when corona happened i i, I, I was dropping those projects with rain i was talking to rain a lot it was just mm -hmm. a lot of shit that like knowledge that i gained before that i didn't and the perspective that i'm like i right. because i used to look at battle rap strictly as entertainment so right. i'm really not looking at it like well i'm acting and then right. when, I, when I start seeing everything that's going on, people doing this, that, and then a lot of people is blaming it on the music. I'm like, well, then this shit is kind of, you know what I'm saying? It, it's kind of bigger than what I thought. So now, even in a vixen battle, whether people say I won a loss, it was more so of I got a daughter now. I can't approach this battle telling you things I wouldn't tell my daughter. That's right. how I just looked at it. So from that battle on, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, nah, when I battle now, I, I got to, I'm going to still punch still gonna be dna but i gotta i gotta make niggas understand like you gotta learn something so right that, right right that, that was my whole approach now let me ask 